Hello club members, uh, UC students, and anybody else that happens upon this video. This is a, a new video for this week of UC's Animation Club. Today I'm going to be talking about some free open source, specifically 2D um, animation softwares that are available to you. I know many of the students may already have you know, the Adobe Creative Cloud and, um, you know, have those programs required to use in their classes, but maybe for those that thinking the Adobe Creative Cloud is getting a little too pricey because I've heard stories from a couple of you of how they keep changing their prices as of recently. So definitely a bummer, but um, if you don't have to use the Adobe resources and pay for those, here are just some other uh options at least for 2D animation programs that you can use uh, free of charge. Um, so at least the first one I'll start with, um, I don't really have a preference, I guess, to which software there is, um, or that I guess I'll use for examples. I just want to go over them, and then I guess I'll make my decision of which one I'll at least use for examples for the club and such later on. So uh, this first one here is Synfig Studios, or Synfig Animation. Oh no, it is Synfig Studios. Getting all mixed up over here. So, uh, what I at least know of this program so far is that while it doesn't really do a whole lot in terms of allowing you to, I guess, uh, just free draw or to have that traditional frame by frame animation, it uses more of shapes and things to animate with to do um, bone animations and such per se. And I guess. For any of you that has not heard of bone animation before, it is simply taking, um, you know, such a character um, and having the individual parts. So the head is a separate object. The uh, right shoulder down to the elbow is a separate object. From the elbow to the right wrist is a separate object, and then the whole hand is a separate object. And once you combine all those other stuff with the entire body um, that kind of is a bone tool animation where you can specifically move each of those individual parts of the body um, to make up that animation. Um, so that's mainly what Synfig does. I'll just be showing examples of, you know, a, or a little overview of what some of the tools will do. So I just click the star, see what that does. And uh, what do you know? We have a star pop up. Uh, I guess. Other option. I want to see how they, they've got a pencil, so I want to see how the drawing works. Definitely just a standard. I just do one around. So it, it at least shows that you can do drawing on this, so I guess frame by frame animation um, is possible on this, like I did not previously think um, or thought it was, but. Um, does seem that uh, it gets a little bit in terms of I don't know how smooth you can make it because you know I make the line here and, and it does that curve and then part of it you can see uh, like on that example there it gets I guess straight or corrects it so um, may not be as you know free flow drawing as you want it to be but um, I guess frame by frame is possible here along with um, your simple animating shapes and whatnot so I guess other examples that they show are, I have no idea what that does, paint bucket tool, uh, don't know what that is either. I don't know. I don't really know a lot of these tools. I'm not trying to do a whole in-depth, you know, look at what this is, but maybe just to mess around with some tools a bit to get a feel of what this thing looks like. So here we have our timeline. So in terms of uh, where you would want to start um, a frame and, or start an animation, you know, frame by frame. So click here. Oh, that shows that I'm on the timeline now. Um, I don't know, for example, if I draw this, I've got this, got that. So it looks like it, I guess it saves or updates every time you do a sort of play on that thing. Um, not in time, oh, hold on, let's see. I know. No, because you, you at least have the modes of the timeline, how much time the frame will be at, uh, graph editing. That's more of a 3D computer animation concept. Um, 
more lists here. There's the background color if you want to add audio and such. Yeah, I guess sp specific stuff like that. So um, definitely take the time if you want to to download this Singfig Singfig animation software and uh, just test it out for yourself to see if you like it or not. Um, I I, know, I guess my verdict if you're starting off with animation um doesn't seem bad. It's got drawing abilities. It's got some simple you know, animating shapes and bone tool abilities. So I guess it's a, a good option for I guess starters. Um, so I'll exit out of that. Yeah, fine. Close without saving. Don't need that. Okay, um, the next software uh, I'm opening up is OpenTunes, which is done, or at least the people from Studio Ghibli, they're famous for making animations such as Spirited Away and such, um, they at least had a hand in developing this whole software. Uh, an update is available. I will do that later. Um, so I'll get out of this. Take a look at this one. So this specifically goes more into just traditional um, frame by frame, you know, drawing 2D animation as opposed to Synfig. Synfig can do things like manipulate some shapes and such, where this one is a little more. I mean, there is shapes and stuff, I guess, too. But I guess um, main thing or the power comes from the. Uh, ability to draw. So um, what you'll notice is there's not really a traditional timeline. There's this X sheet, which actually used to be um, used by, you know, Disney animation back when, you know, things like Snow White or those more traditional 2D movies were being drawn. They would use this thing called an X sheet. And um, I'll even uh, describe more of that in another video. But um, at least, so you'll start off here as being the first Got that guy. And we'll move on to this one. Uh, this guy. I'm trying to see. There's definitely an option to um, onion skin, as I was just kind of briefly looking at this. I just don't remember what it is. But it does have the option onion skin, which means um, if you were looking at something per se, oh, seeing the difference between these two, like let's say it's on frame two. Um, there would be very, there would be a shadow of what was drawn on frame one. That's I guess the purpose of it. So they have that ability. Um, there's also other tools such as the eraser, um, I guess an eye drop paint tool, or whatever that is. Um, just moving this object around. What's cool about at least this front interface is that it looks a lot like traditional drawing that people do 2D animation, they would have this, um, uh, I don't even know what you call it, this whole animation template where this circle um, would have uh, little pegs sticking out from it, and through each piece of paper you would draw, you know, one layer on top of another layer, or I should say frame, and that would, overall, you flip it and uh, create some animation. So that's more of a 2D process. I won't get too much into that. Uh, you can see it has the option here, too, of, you know, just kind of like a basic. Uh, you have your animation done, so you want to do more of a cleanup of colors and such, specifically drawing, getting more into um, timeline mode. So if you didn't want to do so much of the X sheet, per se, um, and you want to do, have more of just the regular timeline flow, because most animation softwares, as of today, use the, uh, the timeline uh, setup. So there's definitely that, um, more specifically into messing with the animations of it, um, kind of your color palette, really looking in depth at the X sheet and uh, all of that stuff. So uh, yeah, in terms of having this, I'll just kind of go back, draw more frames. And though not onion skinning, I'm literally just eyeballing this. Uh, I did not draw. Why oh, didn't? Oh, probably because there we are. I was drawing it with a white circle. Look at that. That layer. Uh, five. That layer. And before you know it, I'll just press play, and there is that quick of an animation. Um, Disney can hire me now. I'll say that much. <laughs> Just joking. Um, I guess more tools here, uh, specifically a 3D frame. That's um, more of uh, if you want to add 
more of just a 3D effect to your 2D animation, um, they have that feature here, which I know um, some other softwares have, but which is pretty darn cool in terms of spacing and gridding and the camera view and how you want to see stuff or not and all that jazz. I could ramble on and on about this, but um, showing more of uh, what this is all about. So in the description of this video, I'll put a link to this guy who does really good tutorials on just learning the basics of OpenTune specifically and just learning all the nooks and crannies. So, I don't know. Um, hopefully not super in-depth. I just wanted to show what this software looks like. And if you're interested at all, you can get that. So, uh, uh, just guard, just quit. <clears throat> I don't need that. Um, okay, so the last software I have in mind for today is 2D Pencil. Okay, so simply opening up here. I guess the um, difference between this is where as Synfig seems to uh, specialize more in shape animation and bone tool, uh, simple vector animation. Um, and then open tuned is more on the other side, so more of just 2D drawing animation. This kind of combines both of them, I guess. So what I mean is that, um, see these layers down here? You've got the bitmap layer, you've got the vector layer, you've got the camera layer. So what a bitmap layer would do, or at least I'll show an example, is that can begin to draw this. Um, you've got your traditional timeline here, so there's frame one, then we've got frame two. Uh, I don't know, I wonder if it's on or not. Maybe not. On that layer, let's click to Layer three, it's on there. Huh. Let's go back. Oh, I have nothing drawn on the first layer. Well, that's weird. Um, let's draw this at frame three next. So, very poorly drawn. I'm not sure why this is acting up, but I guess you get the idea. So on bitmap layer, you'll have something like the more 2D animation workflow. Uh, vector, the vector layer, the vector animation applies more to if you want to animate shapes or do bone tools and whatnot. Um, and just, and you can get a large, or some view of the tools you can use, how you can change the width and style of them. Uh, you've got your color wheel over here. Um, I don't know, pretty much any of these programs has that. I guess I'm just pointing that out for the sake of showing what features this thing has. So, you know, you can get more specific with some of the tools here. Um, definitely seems like uh, maybe a step up from Singfig, I would say, in terms of you can... Um, Know, optimally have this free software to just work with a 2D drawing workflow and then a shape workflow. Um, you don't have, I don't know, I guess you don't have a preference of working with specifically animation shapes, which Synfig would be better for drawing, which OpenTunes would be good for. Um, this is kind of your middleman in between those. So, yeah. Um, what I'll do is I'll include in the description links to all of these uh, softwares, which if you want to try them, you know, download them and try them out for yourself. So, um, at least in terms of software that I'll be using, um, I think what I'll do for any sort of 2D video tutorials going on is that if I want to do shapes, um, or like shape animations, I don't know when that will apply, just some sort of activity. I think I'm going to go with Pencil 2D, I guess, as a preference for that. I mean, I can certainly do some uh, pre-drawing animation too, but um, I'll use that. And then if I want to go more for just drawing, I think OpenTune seems a little more reliable, um, I guess, similar to something like Animate CC or even Toon Boom. It kind of goes up to that quality of doing 2D animation work there. So I guess for my workflow, animation activities, I'll at least have pencil 2D 
or OpenTunes. That doesn't, you know, ultimately verdict that you know, the better software to use than any of them, just, I guess, for the workflow, um, that's what I'll use for those. So hopefully this was somewhat informative. Um, if anything, you can just disregard my discussion of these, download the software yourself and try it out. But um, I just want to at least give an overview that these are some free open source 2D animation softwares that you can use, free to you, um, if you want to go for the cheaper option. I don't know. As a college student who is broke and doesn't need to necessarily use the paid programs, um, I'm, you know, using resources when I can. So hopefully that was helpful. I'll see you all in the next video.